guys. Um, really, really pretty nervous at the moment. I mean, it's been a while since I've been on a date. Um, but I suppose, like, I should try to do this the right way, right? Start things off. How you doing? I made my computer very angry there for a second. So, uh, yeah. Figured I would, uh, kind of set the mood, you know, a little bit here, you know. A little candlelight. Get started properly, right? I um didn't really know what to get him, so uh picked out you know a little flower. It's almost as sweet as they are. And um, I heard you're supposed to bring chocolates, so you know one of these big old Milky Way packs, right? Like that should set the mood pretty accurately. So, uh, hey everybody, thanks for stopping out, it's me Sargato, and, uh, we're going to be playing Undertale today, um, hopefully not screwing up the pacifist path to the point of not being able to date the Paris. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, open up the game over here, and then, um, So open up the game. Come on, Steam, help me out here. You know. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I made sure it was all installed and everything. Okay. so loud under <laughs> oh my god I see why no that's not why I guess the audio is so loud the headphones are very low sorry for killing everybody's ears <laughs> sorry headphone wires <laughs> okay but the game's capturing okay that's good um let me go blow out this candle and get some actual lighting in here. Get my normal lighting. Oh wait, before I do that actually, I should do something else quick. One second. Back to darkness. that's going to pick up under like normal gameplay. So I haven't touched this game since my, um, Echo, Genocide Run, so. Okay. 
I don't need a name. I've fallen and I can't get up. Help, Ma. What's up, buddy? It's Flowery the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I got. Hold on. Why is this game so flippin' loud? This little old meal have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow it strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friend in this palette. So you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Hey, uh, buddy, you missed him. Let's try again, okay? Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. Friendliness belts. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Die. Hi, Toriel. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the runes. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone had fallen down. You're the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Let's go check out Flowery. Is he okay? Flowery, are you okay? I, I can try to leave? Let me out! You know what? I don't trust you. Like, you're kind of weird. Alright, fine. The shadow of the runes looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. I'm going up the other side, Toriel. I kick my own path. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the runes. The runes are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press the Z to read signs. Stay on the path. Okay. First switch is over there on the wall. Get it? Their name is Tutorial? No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Fuck you, Toriel. Switch doesn't even work! As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. 
you will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up for friendly conversation. Stall them. Time will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. What's up? My name's Chris. Yeah. You know. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta hit her for... I... You ran away. Truthfully, that was not a poor choice. It is better to avoid conflict whenever possible. That, however, is only a dummy. It cannot harm you. It is made of cotton. It has no desire for revenge. Never mind. Stay close to me and I'll keep you safe. <laughs> I've never tried running from the dummy before! <laughs> There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Alright, let me figure out the puzzle in this room. It's a monster! You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. Hello? Can I... This is the puzzle, but... Here. Take my hand for... I thought you wanted me to figure it out. Give me all the answers. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Forgetting all day that today was the day for the stream. Yeah, I'm sorry. I kind of announced it a little bit, but I didn't go like super hard in my whatever, right? So. The coffee machine. Pick, you got this. I was just double checking to make sure I didn't mess up the route. <laughs> you already pissy from work? I'm sorry, pick! Oh, that's a hug emote? I've been using it wrong all this time. Here, pick. I got an idea. Look at the flower. Oh, I was gonna go talk to them. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please, remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. 
I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? How do I open my inventory? Game. I don't want to hit escape because that ends the game. How do I get to the phone? There we are. Okay. Huh? Oh. Haha. <laughs> How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You could certainly find better than an old woman like me. Click. Oh dear, are you serious? I do not know if this is pathetic or endearing. I mean, we're trying to... Alright, I'll call her mom. This is Toriel, huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I am afraid there's not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. Hee <laughs> hee. This is Toriel. You want to say hello again? Salutations. Is that enough? This is Toriel. Are you bored? I should have given you a book to you. My apologies. Why not use your imagination to divert yourself? Pretend you are a monarch. Rule over the leaf pile with a fist of iron. Can you do that for me? This is Toriel. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. It was nice to hear your voice, though. This is Toriel. No! We're getting the loop now! Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous if you try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Well, I'm not staying for 15 minutes. I've been filled with determination. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes. I bet it's a funny bit, but I'm not wasting 15 minutes of people's time around. I already had to see her for 10 minutes to get my file open again, because, you know. Rocket didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, ribbit. Ah, it's the flies! Why is it always the flies? Froggy didn't understand what you said, but it was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Can I spare you now? I won, I got two gold! I wasn't paying attention. Oh, can I just go out the other side? Oh my god! Halfway through your first word, the wizard bursts into tears and runs away. You won! Earn zero EXP and zero gold. Well, shoot. Ring, hello! This is Toriel! For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn your nose if you found it on your plate? Right? Right? I understand. Thank you for being patient. By the way. Three out of four gray rocks. I recommend you push them. This is the gray rock that yells at me, right? Oh, no. I can already spare it. Console it! No, that's not the sassy rock. Okay. Alright, so we gotta go down there to figure out the pattern, because I don't remember what it was anymore. Alright, so we wanna go... Oh! 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 Hello, Froggit! Be complimented! 
Dodge the attack! Pew 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 pew! Whoa! Whoa! No! We went too far! This is a lot less fun when you're not killing everything. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you gotta go all the way to the end. Whoops. You just ran a game of Rumble 2v3 after a teammate got mad. Oh, that's always fun when it happens. Compliment. Ah! 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 We're gonna need that gold later. We're gonna want the uh, book to get the enhanced iframes. Oh no, it's another frog! Like we could have already killed like six frogs. Oh, I can already. Zero gold. But we need the gold. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around, hmm? So you're asking me to move over. Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm. That was the wrong direction? Okay. I think I got it. And he moves off of it. Yep. Hmm? You want me to stay there? You're not giving me a real workout. I mean, sorry. You're giving me a real workout. We survived the rock puzzle. Oh, no. There's two this time. Ah! Oh, we took damage. <laughs> not doing any sort of challenge run in this game. Knowing a mouse might one day leave the hole, get the cheese. Fills me with determination. Well, this is clearly an impassable object. It was a good run, though. I don't even know if we're going to make it to the date at this rate. <laughs> Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps just saying Z out loud repeatedly pretending to sleep. Move it with force? No. I just weigh you down. You're not gonna weigh me down. You wouldn't weigh me down, Napster Bluke. Oh no. Yeah, I should just let Nasu kill me.
You wouldn't weigh me down! We'd have each other's backs back to back, Napsty! What's that chat? More flirt? Okay. Ow! There's so many tears! Alright, we'll cheer him up. <laughs> Ow. Hey, did you hear the one about the skeleton had to cross the road to the body shop? Ah! No! Naps, who wants to show me something? What are you show me? I call it Dapper Bluke! Do you like it? Okay, run away. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. You were never in my way to begin with. She wanted to say hello from the other side. <laughs> I don't think I have enough for the bakery, do I? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 7G in the web? No. Uh, no. We'll buy this one, though. Yes. The spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. I think we need to do that for later, right? I don't want to talk to the... I probably got to talk to the tutorial frogs, right? Okay. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing it. There we go. Oh, not you too. All right, I'll listen to your whole thing. That's fine. No. I did shower like a week ago. La la, just be yourself. I'm doing a dance. Hey, buddy. Hiya. Give me the money. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I only have seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least, Ribbit. Oh. Excuse me. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. <gasps> That's gonna help so much! It's rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Just like in real life, chat. Ring. Hello! I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave room in your pockets for that. Is a hidden frog, huh? Oh man, I want to kill you so much. Finally, someone gets it. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die.
Where are the frogs? I don't have any care about spoilers. Especially in this game. Well, here's where we die. Give me the money! I don't see any frogs. Cracked bricks. These cracked bricks? Cracked bricks. Cracked bricks. Well, that was a fun run. Oh, okay, fine. We have to do naps at again, don't we? Uh... I really want to kill him. You give Naps and Luke a patient smile. <laughs> you tell Naps and Luke a little joke. <laughs> oh, he's not feeling up to it. No. He's gonna slaughter everything. Let me try. I call it Dapper Bluke. Do you like it? Oh, gee. I usually come to the rooms because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. <sighs> Give me the donut. So much crack. There's no cracks in this wall. This one. Ribbit, ribbit. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. I think I won't tell a library for a lovely ghost. What? It's a library? <laughs> Chat! Oh, I see. I have to make him so he's alone because he wants to be the center of attention and then I can talk to him. And then he dances, and then I spare him. Got it. I see my mistake. I apologize for not making you the center of attention. You narcissistic. Quite merciful. Yeah, I'm merciful. Yep. Very helpful. There are no low cracks.
Oh, I don't even have to do it again. I can just spare him because he just wants to be a center of attention. I gotcha. There's an ant-sized frog in a crack in the wall. It waves at you. There, four frogs. Fall down a hole and I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. We saved Napstablook! Is that a hat? I forget what that is. Let's grab the pineapple, I guess. There's a toy came out of the earth. Plants can't talk, dummy. I can't spare you. Ah, my health, huh? Defense chart. Attack six. Defense six. Serving size one monster. Not monitored by the UDSDA. Fresh morning taste. I gotta eat you, really? Pat your stomach. Vegetarian offers you a healthy meal. Eat your greens! All oh, right. Man. We done yet? Thank God. It's terrifying. I just want to stab them. Okay, ah, oh, God, there it is. No! Oh! oh, wait, no, back. Let's get out of here. It's a switch, press it. Yes. Wait, I have to read the thing. Power door is not as it simply marks the rotation in perspective. Red one? I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. I don't care. Ow. Get out of here, buddy. Red was not the answer. My soul's escaping my soul! Most of my streams are now streams for copper. <laughs> uh, I don't want to pick on you.
It's been a long time since I played this game. Oh god. Thank you, Coming here to break the date. I mean, some of it's like trouble on purpose. I am what I am, and it's the kind of person that likes to kill all the monsters, you know? Let's go get the toy knife. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. You found the toy knife. I wonder if these runes will be important later. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. I was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Being such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's butterscotch cinnamon pie! I thought you might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I'll hold off a snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Cool, another surprise. Hey, do not go down here. I have something to show you upstairs. Hey, do not go down here. I have something to show you upstairs. Come on, Toriel! Let me fight you to the death! It's the only thing that fills me with joy. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. It's me! Room under renovations. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Yes. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Hey, look at the... There's a... Typha. I don't care. Whatever. Water sausages. Ha 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 ha! Look at a flower up there! I don't know if that's important at all. <sighs> you found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Which we'll keep to the very end, so we can use it against Sans. I think you should play upstairs instead. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. There are some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there is brand new chocolate bar in the fridge. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. 
This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called Semi to Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the runes. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly? Just kidding. Snails don't talk. Interesting. How to exit the runes. I have to do something. Stay here. Hey, chat. Time to get out the mints. Because we're going to be beating papyrus soon. Be all excited. Undertale Maximus. I know what I'm doing. This part. I get to have an amazing battle. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the runes. Oh, and I exit to the rest of the underground. And if you're trying to do a genocide run, that's your hint. You need to go back and clear all the rest of the monsters first, okay? All right. Good destroy. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now, be a good child and go upstairs. Also, my curse is in the middle of the screen. I apologize. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the runes, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Just like my kids, I'm not going to. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hm. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Interesting. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Ow! 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 Okay, this might take me a couple tries. Also, I should have saved before I came down here, because I gotta redo all that dialogue again. Ah! Okay! I'm gonna go save quick! Oh, I love them. The Genocide Run is so good. If you've never done a Genocide Run in this game, it's the only way to play this game. Because it really gets you, like, right here, you know? <clears throat> Alright, now let's go kill, uh, you know, Toriel. By, um, avoiding all the attacks. Isn't that what I was supposed to name them, Starlight? That's the canon name, right? Oh, damn. Ironically, talking does not seem to be a solution to the situation. So I've never actually done the pacifist ending to this fight. So... Can I just... Oh, I gotta constantly spare him. Ah, that's right. Okay.
So I break their determination. I remember that now. And now that I have one health! What way? What way, pray tell? I have no idea, Pip. I'm just playing Undertale. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. And you don't have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Children never make things simple, okay? Like, as a father... They don't. Ever. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic. Is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. I got a hug! I got a hug! I'm so bored right <laughs> now. Flowery fight. Number two. And I have one HP right now. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So, were you able to play by your own rules? You spared the life of a single person? <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. See you later, buddy. It's because I did a genocide run before this, so... Everything's going to be messed up. Oh, a Toby Fox guy. I've heard good things about him. We Whoa! What the fuck was that? Something chasing me in the woods. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand.
The old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on Watch for Humans right now, but, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Not my brother, Papyrus. <gasps> oh. It's the person. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anybody. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know, sup, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station? What are you even doing? Staring at the slab. It's really cool. You know, you want to take a look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one... I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans? You are really not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit in bun boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skelly ton. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Huh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ah, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Okay, you can come on now. I'm just gonna... Oh, cat, cat, cat. Okay, you know, I love you. I do. You are a very good kitten. But you're hitting the enter key. That's actually causing problems right now. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I will talk to you. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious... Okay, we're going. Actually, hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Gotta... Does my shirt look okay, chat? Like, it's just... It'll be... We're gonna we're gonna hit the mints again, just just cause. Okay, I, I got the I got the candy. You don't think they're gonna mind that I had one, do you? Beforehand, I still have the flowers. I'm not bringing the candle back out, but I think we're as ready as we're gonna be. Right, that was the point. Like I'm trying to get a little more of the, you know. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to go. Hold on. <laughs> he can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> Please clip that. You did that laugh for science. Oh, no, far. Please, no. Oh, I killed Mother every time, Dr. Fat Caddy. I have never not killed Papyrus, so. The convenience of the lamp still fills you with determination. Okay. I don't think we have anything in the item box already, right? All right, talk club. Cool. I know this is the uh, fishing rod that just does nothing.
No. Okay. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Sans! Oh my god, is that... A human?! Uh... Actually, I think that's a rock. Ow! Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is... is that a human?! Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will! I'm gonna! I'll be so popular! 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 Ahem! Human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then? Then? Well, I'm not, not sure what happens next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Give him a little something something, right? Oh, no. I remember... Make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one. You laugh at Snowdrake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Oh no. You make a bad ice pun. <laughs> No, nope, not yet, huh? I goofed it up again! So much easier just to kill everything. Another bad ice pun. Is that supposed to be funny? Yeah. Am I supposed to heckle you? Do you want to get heckled? It's no so drink that it's... they aren't funny. This won't be funny either! You boo the snow drake. Insults toward human. Nope. Haha, <laughs> nice. Do I have to heckle him now? You tell the Snow Drake that no one will ever love them the way they are. They struggle to make a retort and slink away utterly crushed. We won! We utterly crushed their soul! That feels worse than the genocide run. It's something, move. It wasn't my imagination. I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Don't move an inch. Oh, right. You pet the doggo. What? I've been pet! Just something pet me, something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. 
See you later, doggo. Sliding around at the speed of sound. Hello, I am Snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, Traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. Fine, we'll talk to you. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep that in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Sans, I hate you so much. I'm so glad I killed you. You're so lazy! You are napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses! Excuses! Now, how the human has arrived! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created... Some puzzles! I think you'll find this one quite shocking! For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze! When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a healthy zap! Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay. You can go ahead now. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Ow. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Incredible! You slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am! <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seemed like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's just the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. It's just 15G. All right, I'll take one. Have a super duper day. Uh, we gotta do golf here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Really? How about 500? You have to pay the raw materials somehow. Okay. No decorhedron. It's progress. This feels like progress. Where's this progress? Now I don't remember. It's been so long. Damn it. Yeah, man, I hope you're ready for Sands. Where's the puzzle? It's right there on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Sans, the human is escaping! You made the puzzle too hard! Hey you, get back here! No, I wanna escape! I wanna escape! 
Monster Kids Word Search. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Hmm. Where is Gigas Zerver? Oh! Gigas Zerver is in the top row. Fans, that didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude, that's easy peasy. Word scramble. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable! Human! Solve this dispute! Oh wait, we're trying to like flirt with sands, right? So, er, uh, virus. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Humans must be very intelligent. If they also find Junior Jumble so difficult. Nah, <laughs> Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. I mean, I did say it to flirt, but I mean like... Also, my cursor's in the Oh, yes. Very important. Smell danger rating. Snow smell snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell, smell puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell humans. Green rating. Destroy at all costs. His. Hers. Ah, wow, whoa, it's a hole. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti! Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. Good mouse. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Warning. Dog marriage. Lesser Dog has appeared. You barely lifted your hand and Lesser Dog got excited. Pet, pet. You lightly touch the dog. It's already overexcited. Pent, pent. Oh, not move. Then, wait. Oh, God, dodge that one. I gotta dodge that one. That's right. You pet the dog. It raises its head up to meet your hand. Pent, pent. Oh, God! As the dog is barking excitedly. You pet the dog. It was a good dog. Excited noises. Oh god. No! Lesser dog is overstimulated. You pet the dog. Its excitement knows no bounds. Excited noises. Lesser dog is overstimulated. Critical pet. Dog excitement increased. Excited noises. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. You have to jump up to pet the dog. Motor revving. You don't even pet it. It just gets more excited. Plane takeoff. There is no way to stop this madness. Kettle whistle! Lesser dog shows no signs of stopping. Lesser dog enters the realm of the clouds. You call the dog, but it's too late. It cannot hear you. Far away bark. You can reach the lesser dog again! Bark! Lesser dog. Pet, pet. Lesser dog is now lowering. You pet the lesser dog. Pant, pant. You pet the lesser dog!
It's possible that you may have a problem. <laughs> many, Toby. Many. This dog is unpetable. It appreciates the attempt. This dog is unpetable, but appreciates the attempt. Dang it. There he comes! There it comes! Perhaps Mankind was not meant to pet this much! It continues. Unless the dog is beyond my reach. Really? Ah, <laughs> uh, that was a good time. Okay, I think we're done. 60 gold! Holy shit! We need to take a couple hits, though, so we need to go heal. <clears throat> so when I did the genocide run, I made him go all the way around like that, and then I killed him. Ice caps, oh Drake, front you sign, Jerry. You for my ice cap that has got a great hat. Duh, who doesn't know? This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Chill out. Your head looks... Oh, God. Ow. You laugh at Snow Drake's pun. See, he laughs. Dad was wrong. I'm thinking, guys. Jerry, let's out of yawn. We up to Jerry. 
I don't want to ditch Jerry. He tried to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. I knew it, thief! Guys, it's cold! Oh god. Ow! Oh, ow! And for my scap that has a great hat. And if he is too bad. I don't know how to get through these. No. Okay, we're ditching you. Yeah, and the other mod just ditched Jerry when it looks away. What a great hat! Mine! The other monster celebrate Jerry's disappearance. You know, from Ice Cap that has a great hat. No, I gotta do something else! I have to ignore it. It's envious! You manage to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. Why are you doing this? I'm frail. Oh god, Jerry's back! Why? Ah! This is agony. How does anybody play this game like this? Ah! No, I, I can't do it in the right order. Ah! Okay, I'll ignore you too. I hate this. This is pure agony. Try to steal the ice cap's hat and succeeded. It melts in your hands. So cold. It smells like frozen despair. Bye, Jerry. Because the murder is fun. It's like what video games are all about. Ah, yes. Time for me to get my butt kicked. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. Makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Let's kick human tail. Do human have tails? Uh. Well. The dog's gonna want to re-smell you. The dog sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What smells like a? Are you actually a little puppy? Dogs thinks that you may be a lost puppy. You pet dog me. Wow, pet by another pup. You pet the dog Ressa. What about me? A dog that pets dogs? Amazing! Oh god. The dog's minds have been expanded. Cool. You won! You earned zero XP and 40 gold! Dogs can pet other dogs! A new world has opened up for us! Thanks, weird puppy!
Do we have, that's, do I have to... Okay. I like the pet option because it leaves them happier than ever. It makes you feel bad. It makes you have fun. It makes at least, I mean, it gets real sad later. But like, that's the whole point. Like, you know. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? We need to tell Paris about his spaghetti. Really? Wowee! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then. Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Nah! <laughs> nah! 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 My brothers started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Nah! <laughs> Human! Hmm. How do I say this? You are taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different, and as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. So I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the Great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Alright. Um, that is the problem point. I think. So... Let's make it less of a problem. And more of a solution. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, shit. No, I can't get out of here, though. No! Okay. That's right. Why can't I puzzle today, gamers? I'm tired. this shit so hard, yo. It's a game for children! Wow! You solved it! And you did it all without my help! Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> ah! Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help, which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. <sighs> hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alfies. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but... 
If you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How is that? Understand? Yeah, I got it. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Actually, that spaghetti familiar? It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. The machine isn't working. On the floor inside is a box of... Palmer raisins? What? No dog will never give up trying to make a perfect snow dog. Fills you with determination. The dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions. But as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until... It was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. Alright. Slidey puzzle time. My second least favorite puzzles of all time. First one being, you know, Junior Jumbles. I fucked up! Yeah, okay. Oh, wait. I see what else to do there. God damn it. Alright. Well, pfft. Dun 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 dun. I'm still sliding. What are you? What? What's up? Say, are you following me? the fuck is this thing? You had some googly eyes you found on the ground. Gosh darn teenage googly eyes. Oh. Gift rat stumbles blindly. Gift rat refuses your gift. How do I know it's not a trick? Oh god. You remove the googly eyes. Thanks for nothing. Ow! 
Ah, the scent of fresh pine needles. Remove the lactillar bookmark from its smug teen winking. That's a little better. Remove a stocking filled with chicken nuggets. That's a little better. Move to small, confused dog. A weight has been lifted. If trout's problem has been taken away. You had some googly eyes you found on the ground. I was starting to trust you! No, I can't spare it anymore. <laughs> Fine. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Oh, I gotta take a pee. You know, I was feeling a little hungry. So I got a fruit snack. <laughs> One of these ones. Welch's? You guys like the Welch's fruit snacks? Like, I think they're pretty good. Mixed fruit. I think I like the berry ones better. Where it's like just the raspberry, the cherry, and all that stuff, you know. Ooh, look at that. Got a blackberry. Mmm. Mmm. That is some good. That's some good fruit coming. Hmm. Got another one. So, are you the kind of person that you save your favorites until the end, or do you devour your favorites and then 
We work way to your least favorite. Because I'm definitely the kind of person where I devour my favorites. And I work down to the least favorite, so. Mm. It's like very cold where I am and also snowy. So going outside is probably not a good idea. And look, you got, got this one. Over here. Mm. Oh, man. How do you feel about oranges? I think oranges are pretty good. Hmm. We just eat them? We're maniacs? But I mean, have you had raspberry? Like, raspberry is very good. You eat them numerically? How do you eat them numerically? Line them up like a histograph and slowly eat them. Eat one at the same time. The same method? Oh man. I'd like to hear this method. Mmm, strawberry. Strawberry is very tasty. Mm. If you had like seven red and five blue, you need the two red first, right? Yeah, I don't do any of that. You have five and five, which is ten. I don't know how to do math. Nom, nom, nom. You get the ones you have most of first. And when I have one of each, I go from like likes to most. So then eat a red and a blue at the same time so it stays an even number. No, no, copper. I sort them by them and eat the color with the most and then the color with the next most. Is there an interest? I can't eat crab legs either. Much work. I've never tried crab legs personally, but I don't really care for seafood. So I might draw one like it. He burns them really fast. That's how you slow yourself down. Glide attack high, defense high, refuses to give more details about statistics. Great! I'm gonna die! Like, freakalicious, huh? You clap really sloppily. Glide sucks up your praise like a vacuum cleaner. Okay, I rule, I admit it. Glide sees this reflection and gets really jealous. You clap like a gorilla. Glide has become addicted to your praise. What else do you have to say? Mm. No! Back here, huh? Oh, fuck. Buh. Oh, excuse me. Remove the lecture car bookmark and smuggling king. That's a little better.
Small confused dog. That's a little better. The way has been lifted. Whoops. Alright, so anyway, as I was saying about, you know, fruit snacks and how we eat fruit snacks. Should have healed. I mean, like, it's funny to put the googly eyes on, though. Come on, they're silly. It's too bad you can't, like, take everything else off and put the googly eyes back on and be like, ha ha ha! Suck at Gift Rot! Ho ho ho! I mean, I would have just killed it before without any kind of mind to its design. Mm -hmm. No. But he is a secret boss, so. Hidden boss. And if you haven't noticed, I'm trying to slow roll so we don't get to the date this soon. I died to him pretty easily. Look, if I don't make it to, if it's 10 o'clock and I have to stop stream and I haven't date Papyrus yet, do I have to date Papyrus? If you work for home tomorrow, you will make me date him. <laughs> no, they're not making me do this. I'm doing this. Okay, I, I admit it. You clap like a gorilla. Glad becoming addicted to your praise. What else you got? Uh, oh, fuck. Cool, sweet! You clap like a gorilla again. Shit. I gotta do something else. You do nothing. Clad looks disappointed. You aren't paying attention. Eh, hey, you forgot to clap! Oh! Hello, I'm right here! Oh god. Oh god! I was doing tons of trips to get my attention. That leaves look at the phrase. You won! 120 gold! We did it, gamers. We beat the secret boss. It's a snow puff. What a tiny doghouse. Woof. I mean, I'd have to go back to save. It's the great... Oh, fuck. Fuck. Thank you. 
Bear dog is not excited enough to play with. Shit. Here. Okay. You call the greater dog. It bounces towards you, flicking slobber into your face. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. Gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Oh! You make a snowball and throw for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Bear dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Yet. Tender love and care, huh? Okay, baby. We'll pet you. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Shit. Pet capacity is 40%! <laughs> you pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its leg hanging in the air. We have to be glad again! Now I understand why you said we should have saved! Ah! I, that was about like the last turn I had to do stuff too, right? Like, jeez. Hey, how's it going? Uh, you want me to undecorate you, right, baby? I use this tiny cane to walk on it. Oh god. Non-dog related raisins. Ow. Oh. So chat, what are your thoughts about like the current economic struggles of the United States as a global economic power? Cause I gotta say I don't really give a shit. It burped, Greg. Not, not a sneeze. It was a burp. A very hearty man who just ate a bunch of fruit snacks. Burp. Maybe I should smell these flowers again. Like... <sighs> Here's work here. That's understandable. I'm very close to hitting one of my financial goals, but at the same time, it's... <sighs> depressing. What does the United States military put its value on in people? $50,000 or something?
Glide sucks up my praise like a vacuum cleaner. Oh god. Well. Hey, Sar, what was the day you finally had a mental breakdown? It was, uh, January 4th, 5th, I did beat Sans twice. What happened is I finished the fight, and I was in the part, the the phase three, if you haven't done it, so I won't spoil it. And during phase three, there's a thing you have to do, and instead of doing the thing I had to do, I shut the game off. Yeah, and I, the one time I, like, finished it, like, properly was attempt number 70, because I memed on it. And just made uh, run or attempt 69. I failed in uh, run 69 intentionally as the gag. So if I had actually attempted, apparently 69 would have been the one that I would have done it on too. So, um, which I mean, like 69 attempts, 70 attempts, I don't think is terrible. But that's a lot of hours still. It was like 16 hours or something. I don't know. Each attempt's like 45 minutes when you're able to start getting into phase 2 on the regular, so... And the thing is, is like, I could probably go fight Sans right now without a problem, because I know Sans' moves pretty well, because you <laughs> practice them a lot. All these early game enemies, like, I just killed them when I played through, right? So I never ever had to learn most of the dodgy moves, because you just did a bunch of damage. You got the timing down for the attacks. This whole not attacking thing, you know. Also, I forgot how to trigger Glide at first, because I thought it was just AFKing in here. Then I, when I was eating the fruit snacks, I remembered, oh yeah, you gotta win it. Can I just do nothing at the beginning? I think I have to plot first, right? Yeah, I have to applaud, I have to get excited that I'm watching and then take it away. Clap really sloppily. Glad it sucks if you're praised like a vacuum cleaner. Okay, I rule, I admit it. You clap twice. What else do you have to say? Hey, you forgot to clap!
Oh. <sighs> My determinate. Oh, God, why do I do that every time? Fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
I don't think you understand how much I dislike Papyrus. And I know I agreed. And we'll get there. I'll do it. I promised. I put it on the internet. And if you put anything on the internet, it has to be true. Doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. The small confused dog. It's almost like Toby Fox really likes dogs or something. Because he says, nah! <laughs> and he's hunting humans. Like, Sans is fun, because Sans is at least a challenge, right? Pyrus doesn't even have the challenge thing going on for him. Must keep moving all the time. Skeleton nice is fun. What? Good shady opens Undertale. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it makes sense. I'm not disagreeing with it, but I'm just saying, like, you know. My oldest did all of the other um, runs, neutral and then true pacifist, and now he's working on his genocide run. And he's on the Undying fight, and he's, like, stuck there. He asked me if I'd help him. I'm like, I could definitely do this Undying fight. Like, that is fine. But you have to understand that Undyne is showing you how to do Sands. And so you probably want to do this Undyne fight because, like, if you can't do this, you are you have literally no chance of doing Sands. No, I think Tom's gone. But to be honest with you, I don't understand why any of you are here, so... God... Oh. I don't know why I'm having such trouble with this now. Because, like, you just have to look far enough ahead in the pattern. One more. I need to be one more section over. That's fine. We're not doing it anymore. All right, let's get going. Well, you could probably tell him the thing. You know. Oh, I did this! <laughs> okay, we don't need the $120 from Glide. It's fine. Whatever. The Undying fight is nowhere near as hard as the Sands fight. <sighs> I 
You call the greater dog. It bounds toward you. Flecking slobber into your face. Oh god. Barrett curls up in your lap as it's pet by you. It gets so comfortable, it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. The gray dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests his head on you. You pet the dog. It sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Oh god. This one's harder when you're slow. Oh god. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice, each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, it's the hold up. Hold up? What hold up? I'm about to activate it now. That uh doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat a human with. Yeah. We can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are ex expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Yeah, away it goes. Whew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Nah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. Welcome to Snowden. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Huh? Sell something. Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and use bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. What are you doing? Goofball? Fine, I want to talk to you anyway. Jesus, whatever. Buy a toy knife. Buy tough gloves. Uh. Yeah, whatever. Oh, there's villagers in this village? This place has only ever been abandoned by the time I got here. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, and lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Let's play monsters and humans. What's up, Mikan?
Ring, ring. Hello? Can I speak to G? Wait a second. This is the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. Anyway, moving on. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. The house is locked! Norman, allow me to tell you about our complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Or I not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human! I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Okay, I'm gonna put you down now. I gotta fight. Oh. All right. Don't hit the fight button. Chat! Give me the strength to resist slaughtering the skeleton. <sighs> what? F f flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings? Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I have zero redeeming qualities. Or I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I'll have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear on this drink. Oh no! Let's date a little later after I capture you. Oh, wait, I have to do something else. Is that it? Is that? Okay, no. Oh, okay. 
No, I got a spare now. Okay, okay, I got it. So I flirt, get him into the defense mode, and then I... Okay, that makes sense. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Yaw, blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> the virus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's stay later after I capture you. Okay, I just gotta spare now and survive enough. The virus dabs MTT brand Bishy cream behind his ear. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Papyrus stabs him. Yep. Anime powder behind his ears. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Kichu's behind his ear. Oh, man. I can almost taste my future popularity. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. Crystal Rivers, thank you very much for that reign of one. Wow. <laughs> Papyrus Unparalleled Spaghettor! Not to be confused with Skeletor! Oh god. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Undying will be really proud of me! Hui! 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 Papyrus whispers. Yeah. <laughs> Mario Party. Nice. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Oh, God. Papyrus whispers. <laughs> my brother, well... Yeah, he won't change very much. Oh, well... Y'all too weak. I was easily able to capture you. Now I'll never can do the capture zone, as Sans calls it. Our garage. You're in the doghouse now. Sorry. I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Freshments and condiments have been provided. Naturally yours. Fires. It's a speed doing. I've never lost to Papyrus. I didn't know this happens. There's only one solution to this, chat. I tried to date them. I mean, they rebuffed my advances. Ow, where could a human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello, I was worried that you'd gotten lost. 
It sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second. You're not supposed to escape! Get back there! Let, let's stay later, after I capture you. Oh god! I'm blue again! What? I'm not thinking about- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. I can almost taste my future popularity. What does popularity taste like? Oh god. Asking for a friend. Head of the Royal Guard! Oh god. I didn't mean to double jump. Oh my god. Fine, we'll heal. Fuck's sake. And I will be very proud of me. The king will trim a hedge in my face. My brother will nothing will change. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? I was trying hard to play cool. Someone like you is really rare. Oh god. And dating might be kind of hard. Oh. Smells like bones. After you're captured and sent away. Good. Ah, who cares? Give up. I have too much determination to give up. Give up or face my special attack! Yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack. Papyrus is cackling. <laughs> Not too long and I'll use that special attack! This is your last- God damn it, can you please just hit you it? Behold, my special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack? Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really good old regular attack. <laughs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. Oh my god. We're gonna fuck this up. Oh god!
Attack. Fight. Oh my god! I've beaten Sans. Oh no, the game crashed. Oh, well, everyone, it was a nice stream. Have yourself a good. Woo! Sure was lucky we saved. Oh, I forgot the knife, though. We're gonna need that. Definitely gonna need that. I could just kill him once, right? Like, just to cleanse my palate a little bit? It can be our little secret chat. Because I hate him. Absolutely cannot stand him. Ow, where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me. Hello, I was worried that you'd gotten lost. There's relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second. You're not supposed to escape. Get back here. That's right. We don't need to do that. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Damn it. Oh god. Can you tell, chat, that the determination is kicked in? I really just want to get this over with. Cackling. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck.
Cool. Dude. Well, Huff, it's clear you can't Huff defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Okay, can I go to bed now? No! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard and my friend quality quantity will remain stagnant. What a loser. Really? You want to be friends with me? Not really. Well then, I guess I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee! We haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then use us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Drummer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Let me save first. In case something goes horribly wrong. Oh no, I forgot what we're doing. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Here, have some chocolate, buddy. No, oh, he's taking me to his house, isn't he? My house! Don't invite them into your house on your first date. That's a dangerous proposition.
This is my brother's pet, Rock! His name is Rock Johnson. He always forgets to feed him. As usual, I have to take responsibility. Rock is covered in sprinkles. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine? Arsis. Sans? Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Forget it. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit anytime. This is my home now. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. And don't bring it back. It's still here. Forget it. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for new programming, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Nice. The Seguil couch. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics books is another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. But I want to keep going. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. My bones! The door is locked. Okay. I mean, I kind of want to hang out with Sans, and not so much you, but... Okay, do I go to your room? Is that what we need to do next? That's my room! If you are finished looking around, we could go in and uh, do whatever people do when they're on a date. He's got a fucking race car bed! My soul. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it's basically just happened. It's a bicycle. That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze! I fucking hate this. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for those theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from... A chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Action figures of many sexy robots. Isn't that flag Nino? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? 
Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> that book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. That, the internet, I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. Did you all know that there was a joke about follower count in here? And you just let me be like, I'm gonna date Papyrus. It'll be funny. Like, hey, I don't like this. It's 500 followers. And like the whole time, this is all just set up to get me to use the computer. And then you could all be like, what the heck? Haha, <laughs> sorry. Woohoo! Triple digit follower count! Ha ha ha! Well, you got me. Alright? You star got me. Alright? You got me. Of course, fame has a steep price! Having to date Papyrus, apparently! A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Is it Sans? I bet it's Sans. Alright, let me talk to you next. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Take your time, I'll wait for you. Let me just check the closet first. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Those are hung up neatly inside. Alright, that was boring. Okay. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? I thought this was the date. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for the dating hub. Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Really? Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No! Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No! Your dating power. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? No, a genuine compliment. This. I identify with this. This right here. Ah. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what 
you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. No hanky-panky, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Well, you got these shoulders, huh? I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can improve, be improved this way. My hat? My hat? My hat? Nah! <laughs> well, well, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But oh, so wrong. This ain't any old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cast, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way we can go any further. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Ah! Arr! No! Right into the mouth. Human! It's clear now! You're madly in love with me! Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here? Is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me. I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion. With no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait. That's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and uh, if you need, ever need me, reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> I'm just gonna cry in this corner for a second. <sighs> okay, we're good. That's a warp. I did it. We beat the thing. I was said I would do a 500 followers. Woo. Oh, man.
Here's a ditty about Sar and Papyrus. I dated that bone daddy and it was fine, whatever, blah, 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 whatever. God damn, Greg. Thank you for gifting us up to Jake Doodle. Appreciate that. <clears throat> All right, I'll try every song. Hey, have you ever checked out McCandless Tom? Currently a cruiser like a dragon runner number three. Soon to be number one. Yeah, that's all I got. But Papyrus, ah! Okay. There was a bone daddy who really liked to make frozen spaghetti and cooked it up just right with that dry ice making it out of sight that frozen spaghetti from my bone daddy papyrus all right there you go there's your papyrus song well i didn't really think about like Hello, uh, Greg's other account. Thank you for gifting a sub to Cam's Star Cafe. Hey, Cam. Congratulations on your sub. We're centuries, but we never respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. I talk... No, I already... Better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Moving on. <clears throat> It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. How am I getting a hype? What? Copper, thank you for gifting that sub to Primal Nuki. How are we in hyping train? Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder why all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Far tip to $10. Proud of you for doing the thing and getting curved. I don't know what getting curved means, but I assume it means getting dumped, so. Well, I need to increase the difficulty of hype trains apparently then, because yeah, I didn't actually hear what you said, because I was so distracted by everybody being nice, even though, A, you don't have to be, and secondly, why? Grillsby said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. That's funny. The... Greg, thank you for the 66 bits. No, donations don't. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slippers slip onto their butts. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Why did it go off at 15? <laughs> it should only go off at 10. Uh, why are alerts so hard to get set right? Like, I don't understand, like, jeez. Far, thank you for the 1,500 biddies. You can keep the other 10 or two. Well, thank you. That's nice. It kind of pays for, um, I bought myself inscription today. For, like, the last minute end of the sale purchase. Mm. 
You're very funny. Alerts are definitely sounding. They're just really quiet because... Uh, let me... Oh, I know what to do. Hold on. Oh, I had I had Undertale like ten percent. <laughs> okay, let me crank up this, and then I'll replay it. Holy cow! I cannot believe it. Someone donated me ten dollars. What the heck? Thank you, you very generous person. Thanks. Yeah, it's just that when uh, Undertale was apparently incredibly loud when I first launched today. And I'm so sorry if I damaged anyone's speakers. It's obviously not intentional. Did not understand that Undertale is going to be so loud. But I had it set to like, this is 7% volume. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I'll be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here, haha. <laughs> this is an egg of flower. It eats the last thing I heard over and over. I should have checked it first. Oh, I probably can't. All that gives my life validation is explain the egg of flower. No one can know. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constraints from this book. <laughs> what? I haven't just seen a guy with two jobs before. Unfortunately, two jobs with twice as many legally required drinks. I'm going to grill these. Want to come? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans! Greetings, Sans! Hiya, Sansy! Hey, Sans! Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had my breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes we're just whoopee cushions out in the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Hey, that sounds pretty good. Real good. We'll have a double order of bird. I talked to the child. Thank you, everybody, for that hype train. Really means a lot. Oh. What do you think of my brother? Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit. <coughs> He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? More for me. Mm-hmm. 
mean, anyway, cool or not, we have to agree. Papyrus tries to be hard. Look how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in there. And of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the mark. Say something that I love repeated over and over. What about it? Well, the virus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, the flower appears and whispers things to you. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play tricks on you. Keep an eye out. Okay. Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke, and you put the bill in. It's just 1,000 G. Oh, hello, uh, Cara Compito. How you all doing? Thank you very much for that raid. Hi, everybody. Just kidding. Room, put it on my tab. Hey, Ruby Weapon, thanks for coming. Really appreciate it. My name's Sargato. Um, what can I say? I'm dating the papyrus. I dated the papyrus tonight because I agreed that if I uh, did 500 follows, um, we would do this. Because um, every other run, I uh, slaughtered everyone. So, uh, yeah. Just finish this scene. Nice. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. I did Sans forget to have a burger? Give me a burger. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got friend zone too. It was about everything I expected. The part that I didn't like, okay, like, can we just take a second here, alright? So, I agreed to date Papyrus if I got to 500 followers on Twitch, right? That was what the original agreement was. And, like, all of my friends, all of the people who follow me that are here dedicatedly every, you know, once in a while and stuff like that, come to this chat, hang out, etc. All of them just looked me straight in the eye, just like this, and didn't say anything about the fact that Papyrus literally has lines when you go to his computer talking about trying to get to double digit followers. So, I was trying to encourage people to follow, and Papyrus was also encouraging people to try to follow him on his social media on his computer. They got me. My chat roasted me. What the... I'm still upset, by the way, so... You know, you're 12 to get to double digits. I mean... <laughs> Alright, let me read these. Holy cow, wait, who's gifting subs? <laughs> Here, Capito, thank you very much for gifting that sub to Wiley Garidia. I was so busy telling my story, I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, Wiley, probably, sorry. Uh, Sabin's Upplex Drains and Ruby Weapon. Kara Capito. Sorry. Compito. <sighs> Sabin suplex trains. Oh my god. Yes, Sabin does suplex trains in Final Fantasy VI. You are 100% correct. I apologize. You know, you catch me like towards the end of my stream. I'm a little tired today. <laughs> Thank you very much for the subs and the follows, everyone. Thank you. Uh, Jane Ray 15 followed as well. Rich Horror Twitch. Yeah, right? Because how do you think I would read that one? With the way I'm doing right now, so.
But yes, it was everything I expected it to be. It was very difficult not to kill Papyrus again. I'm not gonna lie. Must have started the kid again. Yo, are you? Yeah, we did this already. Okay. Nope, we're good. Nope, we're good. We're good. 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 And it's funny too, because I, I was talking earlier about the fact that like my kids have done the neutral run, and they've done the pacifist run, and my oldest is now trying to go through and do um, the genocide run, and they're stuck in Undyne. And like they're like, can you help me do Undyne? I'm like, I could help you do Undyne, but like if I help you do Undyne, then you're not gonna be ready for Sands like at all, basically, right? So. Well, I'm sorry. I will work at it. Okay. Can't wait to use the dating head next time I take my right. I apologize. You're right. That would probably be spoilers if you're playing the first time through. But I swore I saw something behind that mushroom. Head. Something. Oh, there's a camera back there, huh? Nice. Yeah, I've done full genome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've like I've played through neutral and I've played through a genocide run. Again, it mostly came down to the fact that like, um, it was a tutu. Yeah, I'll take the tutu. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Over my band-aid. Yeah. Um, and the genocide run is a lot if you haven't been aware of it, I guess. Oh no, you killed the goat? Uh, hi. <clears throat> hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier... Huh? D did I fight them? Uh, y yes of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, well no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end... In the end, it doesn't even matter. I failed! What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne! You don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. <laughs> That's not his one. <laughs> Yeah, have yourself a wonderful evening. Thank you very much for the raid. Really appreciate it. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That... That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention, huh? Come on. Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. I... I am... I am the bad guy? Feeling a dread. Stay determined. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. God, the music in this game is incredible. As much like shenanigans I give Undertale. The music is fantastic. Secret Evermore. Oh my god, Secret Evermore is such a great game. Ah, the Flexi Boy. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases your too. Flex contest. You can flex more. There's your free next flex. You flex harder. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you 
Nice. I won't lose though. Reflex, the air flex is very hard. Reflex yourself out of the room. You won. That's right, you're chucking. I didn't line them up now. Being dumb. No! I don't know what I was thinking there. The game is louder than me. Oh, right. Sorry. For whatever reason, I'm having a really hard time with uh, the volume of this game. I have it at 5%, but oh, well, I was going to set it back to 5%. It looks better. Not great, but... I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours! <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Yeah, I'm wearing a dusty tutu. So you are wearing a dusty tutu! Got it! Wink, wink! Have a nice day! Why did Papyrus say wink, wink? A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you'd hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Oh, Shua, shuffles up. <coughs> hmm. Joke? Tell a joke about a kid who slept in the slope. What she was powers neutralized. Tweet. No, that joke's too dirty. Washua. Get it. Rinsing off a pizza? Yes, Washua to clean it. It helps around excited. Green means clean. Okay. Oh God. There's the green one. No! Back, green one. I want the help! Smells like detergent. Mm -hmm. Alright, another joke then. No, the joke's too dirty! Yep. Yeah. Oh god. I'm not sure this friends with a little joke. A joke? 
And pie with their bare hands. You know what jokes else that you do? Okay. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Good clean fun. Oh, they're yucking! Get what? Get what? I already did the date. I missed the date. The date was well ago. What is happening? Thank you very much for that raid game. I really appreciate it. I did the date. I, uh, I bought a flower, okay, you know, for the date. Um, and then I brought some chocolate, because I hear that works really well as well, right? Um, and then I had a candle, but I took it out of here already. So, yeah, I got matches for the candle, you know. So. But, uh, hey, Raiders, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Yeah, holy cow. Yeah, was doing art, which I assume means you were editing. So I hope your editing went well. I did the Shores of Gold game, finally, by the way, in CFU, so that was a lot of fun. Yes, wash would have cleaned you, it hops around and So I just gotta do the clean thing a bunch of times, maybe? I don't know what I'm doing. I find having to figure out the puzzle of, like, beating the enemies... Okay, he's good now. ...to be more frustrating and pacifist than just killing them outright in any of the other ones. Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Look through the telescope? Yeah. Check wall. What wall am I checking? This wall? Next to the telescope, the one between this stuff here. This one here. This one here. This one here. This one here. I don't remember what wall I'm supposed to check. Oh, you still have it? That's funny. Why are you face palming, copper? Oh, this one. I thought it was like a bonus thing. I didn't know it was where I had to go. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The brave humans and masters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seems that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take nearly the soul of every nearly every monster. Just equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is their strength of their soul. This power alone allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. It's probably a picture of me from the genocide run. Okay, get some food and watch some anime. Enjoy making friends with everyone and avoiding Marie. I mean... I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm not having fun. Not really. But, like, we're making progress, so. And I'm gonna end here. Roughly half an hour. I love my reaction immediately every time I get hit. <laughs> the call. Why is your face meeting the desk hopper? No! Hey, Nobagoo. How's it going? Thanks for stopping by.
You got rejected. Yes, Undyne touched you. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. You were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Going the wrong way. Go that way to get home. That way. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Eek! When the mice may one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. What if I look through it first? It's an odd looking telescope. I can't use it until I talk to say it. I'm not thinking about feeding into the telescope business. It's normally 3,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. I was about it. Oh, look. It's red, because it's just covered up with the thing still. Oh, you aren't satisfied. Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Oh, look. I got red on my eye now. have been painted over with a list of 21 different <laughs> I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice, ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them in for a free ice cream. Be sure to get the customers to come back. Yes, I'll take one. Book your eye out! You had a murder migraine earlier, it was too much. I uh, even rip your foot, but it was done. Nice. Is there a duck over there? Hey, Master. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. I have one wish. Will you take it? Not much is there in Genocide, uh, Caddy. As most of the monsters run in the section ahead of you all the time. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember what I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. I didn't change my clothes though, because I dodged the things just fine. So I wonder if you changed your clothes if you wouldn't have to do the whole spear chucking part. Here, a passing covers. Don't say that. Come on. I promise. I'll... I think even the flowers in this cave um, have the sounds of the monsters screaming and running from you, if I remember correctly. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Oh, 
Oh, hey. You want to flex? Let's get some flex on. Flexing contest. Okay. Flex. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Let's get the flex on then, buddy! And flex is very hard. And flex himself out of the room. Is there a path in mist over here? No. Bars. Okay. Is there a way for me to get to that duck? I feel like I'm missing something here. Checking something quick here. Distracted guy, I'm reading.
I'm allowed to check things. Hey there. I noticed you were here. I'm Onion Sand. Onion Sand here. Visiting Waterfall, huh? That's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Yeah, man, I get that. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, here. here? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. Here? Yeah, I hear. Good luck, man. Hey. There, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. Waterfall! Okay. Is in the corner, but somehow counters you anyway. You smile. Yes, you sure can smile too. Sure gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods his head approvingly. Oh god. You know my sad song. Aaron follows you more. I wasn't ready for that! Okay. Spare in! notes. Cheating, by the way. I don't want to hear no. Whatever. Oh god. I looked away. Wait, I lost it. Oh my god. Oh, whoops. Cheat it! Hi! It's a legendary artifact. Caring to make dog- What? When did I get dogs? When did I get dogs? The dog observes the artifact. I'm so happy I did that. Okay. Glad that dog absorbed the... Boss monster. Boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist even after death. Only for a few moments. A human could absorb the soul. This has never happened. And now it never will.
It's a statue. The stat structures at its feet seem dry. Please take one. Give me like. Place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Ah, oh, it's the solution. We already did that. I got the orb taken away by a dog. Yo, you got an umbrella. Awesome. Let's go. Man, I'm dying so cool. He beats up the bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was going to beat me up. Haha. <laughs> So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Demure, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? He could beat up all the teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. the castle back. Can I talk to the kid? Okay. No. And I can't. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. You wanna see Undyne, right? On my shoulders. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Okay, if you say so. The humans afraid of our power declared war on us. They attacked suddenly without mercy. Yeah, that was me in the uh, you know, last playthrough. Distant music flash fills me to turn quick. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful for us monsters. Not a single soul was taken, and the countless monsters were true us. <coughs> All right, fear time two. Yeah, wait a stand to the umbrella. <laughs>
I have to hit enter. I gotta try to go back. Wee. Sounds like we came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Scratch. Huh? That's a nice name. My name is... It didn't, dear. I was doing voices. That was garbage. What does that mean that I'm good enough to be a voice actor? Could that be like my next career? I don't think I could make enough doing voice acting to sustain my current lifestyle. I'm filled with more determination, chat. By being surrounded by garbage. Hey, dude, thanks for stopping by. Oh my god, you know, I don't, I've never, I don't think I've seen you in my chat in a long, long time. And so for a moment there, I saw your partner badge, and I'm just like, what partner would stop in my stream? Like, what is the shenanigans? And I was like, oh, that's right! Big old partner different. <laughs> You're hosting me? I'm gonna end in a couple minutes. Thank you. Oh. I think you're what? Were they? Oh, I did not notice that. It's been a night. In that regard. Heat up desktop computer. The insides are empty. It's a cooler. It has... Those <laughs> birthday boy. Thank you, dear, for the gift. I really appreciate it. Also, Copper, thank you very much for gifting that sub to uh, Deer Bits. It's a cooler. It has no brand. It shows no signs of it. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one. Always. Oh. What am I carrying? Wait, what am I carrying? The dog residue. Dog item. Dog-shaped husk shed from the dog's... What? An uneasy atmosphere fills the room. Okay, can I have my space food bar now? What is this shenanigans? What did you, what did you do, Toby? To my inventory! case for an anime. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. <laughs> it's my friend. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. We stare into each other's eyes for a moment. Well, I appreciate you stopping through on your way to podcast. I hope you have a good podcast. You guys are doing anime tonight, right? That's what Gam said before they left. <laughs> Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy! My cousin used to live inside a dummy, too, until you came along. 
They were a shy sort, living a lonely life in the ruins. They saw you and hoped you might talk to them. Perhaps strike up a friendly conversation. But no! You ran away and broke their little ethereal heart! Despicable! 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 Human! I'll show you what real heartbreak is! I didn't mean to upset! I didn't know running away would trigger this! Ah! You talk to the duck. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Great. Ow, oh, you dummies. Watch where you aim at your magic attacks. Hey, you. Forget I say anything about magic. I'll defeat you and take your soul! That means doing an armless guy dance. That dummy glitters in a mirror that turns you the same expression. I'll stand at the window of a fancy store! Yeah, you can do that. Mad dummy is bossing around his bullets. Then everything I want will be mine! And then he's getting caught all over the dialogue box. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll be my cousin. What was the name again? Oh god! Oh god! Why? Mad dummies can count in there. Hey guys! Dummies, dummies, dummies! Remember I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures! You're all fired! You're all being replaced! <laughs> Now you see my true power, relying on people that aren't garbage. Talk to the dummy. Don't really see much of the gun. No one's dead. Dummy bots, magic missiles. Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. I'm out of knives. That doesn't matter. You can't hurt me, and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever, forever, forever. <laughs> what the heck is this? Or acid rain? Oh, forget it, I'm out of here. Snaps the blue crate. They're crying. Hey, buddy. Sorry I interrupted you, didn't I? 
As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys look like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. I get that feel. Well, I'm gonna go head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Hey, my house is up here, in case you want to see, or in case you don't. We survived! The fight against the dummy. It's locked. Oh, you really can't- sorry, I wasn't expecting that. Not much, but make yourself at home. The CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it. You play the CD. Lie on the floor with who? The city is labeled. I'm so confused. The grave. Oh, that one's amazing. Lucky. My TV show I like to watch on that sometimes. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. You want to join me? Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You lie down as long as you don't move. So, only you around when you want to get up, I guess. So, uh, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping out. Um, we definitely did the date with Papyrus which is what I was obligated to do. Um, we got a little bit further into the run than I was originally planning. And now I'm laying on the floor. So. I should look to see you streaming so I can figure out where I'm going to raid. But I also don't want to, like, cancel this, so... Twitch mobile it is, I suppose. Even though I can't look an end stream with my emergency button. That's a good point. Sorry, you got your brain all figured out. I'm tired. Bitter. Bum bum ba da bum. Oh, uh, I didn't know Nala was live. Um, Copper or Far, do you want to initiate raid to Nala by? I think you guys can raid her. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll have to make one of you guys an editor later. Jeez. But thank you both for hanging out. Um, I definitely would have been more panicky when we got that big raid if I had didn't have y'all hanging out. So I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. Mod life and all that, right? Um, 
go to my chat. How do I get to my chat on here? Hello, mobile. <coughs> oh, hey, do you guys know that Sargato is live right now? Like, just check that out. He's live right now. Do, 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 do. Cool, it worked. All right. Bum, 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 ba, da, bum. So thanks again, everybody, for coming out. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. I don't really know what I have planned. Um. Bye, Copper. Um. I might finish the pacifist run. Probably not on stream. Um, I already know that I janked up the very, very ending. Because, like, it's a after um, genocide run, pacifist, true pacifist run. I know there's, like, a little extra thing there in the end, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Johnny. Hi. Bye. Because um, I am kind of curious. It's like, one of the things that stopped me from doing Delta Rune, I was just spending this somebody the other day. Is like you get a lot of the characterization of the characters in the pacifist run, so. No, I want to delete my saves. I wanted it to be pure, and the horror that I unleashed, because like when I went in Undertale, I was aware of like the true pacifist stuff and everything, because like everybody and everybody was about it, and so I tried to play Undertale as legitimately how I would have played it without knowing that there's like a true pacifist run is like the true ending, right? Um, and that meant killing as many people as possible. So, anyway, y'all have a good night. Bye bye. Say hi to Nal. And like Far said, don't forget to click the button. And three. And two. And one.